Hey, hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome back to Urban Sunrises. We're in the forest. <laughs> so cool. Oh it's my gosh. Amazing. So going out on adventures is a must. I don't care who you are, or what you're doing. You got to get out. You can't be in your house. You can't, especially for artists. If all you're doing is drawing in your uh, little studio, you need to come out and uh, are eating the tree. <laughs> Hopefully you don't, you know, wreck the adventure in the forest when you go to it, but Pouncer's yeah, gonna pounce. Pouncer's gonna pounce. So and oh my god, it's fun taking uh, Nadia and Dylan out. This is actually Dylan's second time in the forest, so uh, he's having a pretty good time. So today we are drinking just sodas. <laughs> Nadia, you drinking a diet coke? Nadia, and here's Pouncer. Hi Nadia. <laughs> Okay, wow. Coffee. <laughs> yeah. They find a lot of things to chew here in the forest, and they're very happy. So, uh, and also, if you're in the forest, especially in Arizona, just drink tons of water. We have two camelbacks and just a ton of water around, so bring that. Mm. We just had some sort of an animal scare. Nadia went to berserk after something. We didn't see it. She must have scared it off, but... Bring a pouncer. Yeah, bring protection. a pouncer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Preferably a bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> that actually sounds scary. <laughs> she does sound scary in the forest. That's yeah. true. Oh. So, for your inspiration, hopefully you saw our weekly art challenge that just finished up. That was so much fun. The uh, chibis were so cool. <laughs> but um, one of the things that I remembered while we were hiking, um, we kind of cut across the plain and then we went into this forest area and that sense of adventure, that sense of wonder, um, imagining yourself somewhere and feeling that energy, that's going to transfer to whatever you're drawing or whatever you're working and kind of inspire you to draw more or uh, just create very cool worlds. Even if you're not drawing, maybe you're just writing and you're just writing these cool worlds. Being out here there's magic. I mean, I don't care what you say. There's magic out here and you can feel it more than you can in the city. Feel it more than you can in your house. Even if your house is a very magical place like ours where fairies are playing in the corner and stuff. Um, out here, it's just, oh my gosh, pouncers. Out here, <laughs> same, same problems though. If you're filming a video, the pouncers want to interrupt all the time. But um, yeah, being out here, even like my energy is calmer and more at peace. I think I'm probably not as talking as loud as I should be for you guys all to hear me. Um, but it's amazing and wonderful and uh, uh, it feels amazing, right? The clouds are coming. It was, I mean, it's still like 90 degrees or something um, where we are here. At least it's like 110 down um, where we live, but cooler up here, but it's still pretty warm. But now the clouds have come in and it's shady and beautiful and cool. We have uh, so many stories of um, being in the forest and camping and hiking. Um, and it was funny, we were walking up one time and remembering one where we lost our hammocks. <laughs> so the forest was, we got there late at night and we set up our hammocks and then we set up the tent. But for whatever reason, and I can't remember quite why, the, the placement was horrible. Like something was off and I don't remember if it was ants or bees or whatever it was and it was just not good. And, um, so we dragged the tent in the darkness, probably like, I don't know, Ugh. 30, 40 feet. No, I, yeah, way more than way that. More. It was far. So it we, was almost a quarter of a mile, I would guess. Wow. It was super far. So we dragged the tent to a, a different place and then we needed to go back and get whatever we left with the hammocks and stuff. And we could not find it. Mm -hmm. We could not find where we were just at. It's like the forest changed. Mm -hmm. uh, if, um, <laughs> Melissa actually just experienced this. It was hilarious. So um, we set up the original Nintendo and we played The Legend of Zelda. And of course, you know that in some parts, um, if you uh, don't go in the right sequence of screens, oh you'll just get lost in a, a, for, a cavern area, oh, forest nice. area, mountain area. And so that <laughs> happened to Melissa. And uh, it was just like that, but in real life, like we kept walking through the forest and we could not find that spot. It was like the forest was moving. It was pretty funny. Hi, Nadi. She's gonna sit into Melissa's lap hi, and pushing. Yes, hi. hi, yeah. So there's Nadia. Say hi, Nadia. 
Just the original forest puppy. The so original the forest puppy, the first member of the Pouncer Society. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Well, I um, hope you're enjoying the rest of this video and all the cool things that we're showing you today. Uh, we will catch you next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>